Welcome back everyone. Today is such a beautiful day. We're going to do a scavenger hunt. Do you know what a scavenger hunt is? A scavenger hunt is all about finding things. This is our scavenger hunt. We have to find one pine cone, something yellow, one long stick, one smooth rock, one spider web, one flower, seeds, one mushroom, three different leaves, two bugs, and one dandelion to blow a wish. You can screenshot this picture or write these things down so you can have your own scavenger hunt. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. What did you find? Ant. An ant? I see it. Right there. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ants right here. What did you find? I see it. Something yellow. What did you find over here? A flower. I see it. I see the flower right there. What color is it? Purple again. Purple. We found a spider web in between this plant. Good thing there's no spider on it. I don't like spiders. Do you like spiders? I like spiders. We found another spider web in between this tree. Good thing there's not another spider on it. That's a long stick. It's almost as tall as you. Is it smooth or rough? Is this one smooth? Yeah. You're right. Oh, it yes, is yes, smooth. Yes. Yes. We found a big leaf. We're not going to cut all of the leaves because our plants need leaves to grow. This tree has a lot of leaves. These leaves are much smaller. We found another leaf right here on this plant. All of our leaves are very different, but they are the same in one way. They help the plant grow and they were all green. We also found this leaf. This leaf is very different from the rest. It's brown and it's not on a plant. Show this me. is a big seed. That is a big seed. This is a sunflower seed. What is that? A dandelion. All right, blow on it. We were not able to find a pine cone or a mushroom. Be very careful when you see mushrooms. They can be dangerous. We don't touch them. You can just look at them. Adrian picked out this book for you guys. It says, in the garden, who's been here? In the garden, who's been here? It is lightly drizzling on the summer morning. Christina, please take Jeremy into the garden and pick some vegetables. I'm still baking, but mom, it's raining. Don't worry, you won't melt, Christina's mother says, and please put Sunny outside. Christina and her brother take a bucket out of the tool shed and walk over to the garden. Do you see the bucket? Yeah. Something brown streaks across the yard. 
Christina, a bunny, Jeremy whispers, pointing toward the garden gate. They're cute, Jeremy, but bunnies eat anything that's green in the garden. Do you see the bunny? Yeah. In a few minutes, it stops drizzling. Raindrops cling to the poppies. A visitor darts from blossom to blossom, sucking nectar from the flowers. Christina looks down into a large sunflower. Something's been eating the seeds in the middle of this sunflower. I wonder, who's been here? Who do you think eats seeds? The bee? A chipmunk. A chipmunk's been eating the seeds in the sunflower. Christina walks down a row of tomato plants. This one looks good, she says, bending to pick a tomato. Sunny looks at it too. I'll pick you another one, Sunny. This is for mom, she says. Christina, Jeremy says, looking closely at a tomato plant. Part of this leaf is gone. Who's been here? Who do you think ate the leaf? Sunny? A tomato hornworm. Look, that's been eating the leaf. Jeremy picks some lettuce. Somebody's already had dinner, Christina says, standing over some nibbled greens. I know who was hungry, Jeremy says. Who's been here? Who do you think ate the lettuce? Um. Jeremy? Yeah. A cottontail rabbit ate the lettuce. Christina crouches down and picks a large cucumber from the patch. Hey, Sunny, don't step on the cucumbers, Christina says. Jeremy, come over here and look at this leaf. Her brother runs his finger along the shiny line. The line stops in the middle of the leaf. It's slimy, he says. Who's been here? Who left that slimy trail? <gasps> A slug left that slimy trail. Uh-oh, I see something scary on this page. What is that? Snake. A snake. They pick some ears of corn and drop them in the bucket. Christina, Jeremy says, I see a brown and yellow snake. Leave it alone, Jeremy. It's probably a garter, and they're not very friendly. Christina does not notice that the husks on the ear of corn have been shredded. The insides of some of the kernels have been pecked out. Who's been here? What animal eats corn? A crow. It likes corn. Jeremy reaches up and snaps beans off their vines. These are sweet. As Christina helps him gather beans, she wonders out loud. Look at this empty space. What happened to the plants? Who's been here? Um, Who's been eating the beans? A deer mouse. I'm hungry, Christina says, and she sits down in the garden. Let's eat this carrot, Jeremy says. Look at that carrot top, Christina says. Someone cut it, her brother says. It hasn't been cut off, Christina realizes. It's been chewed off. Who's been here? Um. A woodchuck. A woodchuck ate that carrot. Jeremy, I think we have enough vegetables for two dinners, Christina says. The children pick hollycocks for their mother. Christina, Jeremy whispers and points to a hole in the ground. Who's been here? Who do you think made that hole? Um, I don't know. A mole. A mole lives mm. under the ground. Jeremy and his sister walk back to the house with a bucket filled with vegetables and flowers. Race you, Sonny, Jeremy yells. 
Watch me, Jeremy. I can do a headstand. Jeremy stops at the peach tree. Someone has left three plates and a pitcher of milk on the table. Sonny wags his tail. Jeremy looks around and wonders, who's been here? Mom, mom put the plates and the pitcher of milk and look, she has a special treat, cookies. The end. On this page, we saw how Christina tries to do a headstand. Can you try and do one too?